Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up dynamic folders using Power Automate. This is super powerful, specifically if you've got a lot of like emails coming in where you want to kind of save attachments into folders and you want to categorize that by day uh, or by some other kind of format where that can be done quite easily with Power Automate. As I get into it, smash the like button if you're new, subscribe and let's jump into the desktop and take a look. So here we have Power Automate. I'm just going to go ahead and click a new flow. I'm not going to show you all the ins and the outs. Mine's going to be an instant flow, but you could use automatic whatever works for you guys i'm just going to use instant it's going to be a trigger and i'm going to call this dynamic folders okay and i'm going to click create so now we have our kind of power automate flow kind of in the works the first thing i like to do is turn off this new designer i don't like it, it doesn't work for me so i'm just going to go ahead and um, switch without saving and it should basically keep all that stuff uh, as is but put it into the older format the older way that things that were working uh, this is the way that i preferred to use it i'm also going to just move myself over here to the left hand side so i'm not in the way of all of the information Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click new step and we're going to look for a variable. We're going to initialize a variable, which we can see just down here. I'm going to give that a click. We're going to call this folder name, okay, like so. And it's going to be a text string because we're going to use that string within the name of the folder. Then we're going to give it a value. Now, from here, we're going to go over to expression and we're going to type in format date time. We're going to give that a click. We'll open up a bracket. And then basically what it's going to do is it's going to put two parentheses in, open and close. In between of those, what we want to do is we want to type UTC now. Okay, and then we're going to click that one. And that's going to also put in UTC now with two brackets, one open, one close. And it's going to put the cursor between the last two uh, closed parentheses. We're going to add a comma. And this is where we get to put in the, um, the, the actual format of the date that we want, right? And we're going to use this as our folder name. Now, I'm just going to use date for the folder structure, but you might want to do something to Totally different on dynamic uh, based on dynamic contents so that might be that you're actually finding um, you know the the sender of an email so whoever sent it to you you could use their name as a as a dynamic piece of content whatever it is that you're doing I'm just going to use in this particular case the date because that's nice and easy and we're going to use that within this variable so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up some single quotations here and then we're going to use um, lowercase two D's to represent the day we're going to go dash two capital M's to represent the month. If you use lowercase M's, that represents minutes rather than months. So we're going to use months with capital M's. We're going to put another dash there. And then I'm going to go with four lowercase Y's to represent the year. And once I'm happy with that, I can click OK. Now our initialized variable here has the value of exactly what it is that we're looking for. Now, we don't have to do this in a variable, by the way, we could just take that expression and apply it into our um, steps later but i find it's easier to store this in a variable so that you can use it and of course if you ever wanted to you could update this variable as well so what we're going to do is we're going to rename this as well and we're just going to say it is called folder names just so that we know what it is there we go okay so now we've got the two steps right the manual trigger and we've got the folder name which is basically going to dynamically get whatever date that this flow runs so if it runs today that's going to be the 7th of january and if it runs when this video goes out that's probably going to be like the 14th of february right so that that expression is always going to get the date that this whole entire flow is running. Okay. And that's going to be our folder name. So that's the dynamic naming part. How do we actually go ahead and create this? Well, we need to do this. So there's two ways of doing it to be true. You could create a folder with that name. Okay. And you could just run this once a day and you could create a daily folder if you wanted to, but that might not necessarily be the best way of doing it. The best way of doing this might actually be when you've got something you actually need to save. And in which case you actually need something to save in order to actually run that dynamic kind of folder naming structure so in this example i'm just going to go ahead and grab some content and i'm just going to look for get file and i'm usually going to go for get file contents um we'll see if i can find it in here get file content uh, right here uh, we don't have a file identifier but we do have the folder so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over to that office guy um, SharePoint site we're going to go ahead and click on this little folder icon from here we're going to scroll down until we find um, shared documents this one right here we're going to give that a click and then we in here we have all of this we're going to go over to YouTube I'm going to go over to my video documents I'm going to go over to Excel and I'm going to pick up one of these now this is obviously quite static I'm just going to use this one right here okay so this is basically going to pick up that file contents for that um, excel document but 
obviously you might already have this information if you're saving email attachments for example this is just limited to how i'm structuring out this video tutorial but once you've got the contents you might be thinking okay well i've got the contents i've got my variable named how do i actually go ahead and save this file down so to do that we want to create a file so we're going to go ahead and create okay i'm going to go and scroll over to well, i'm going to click on sharepoint and this is going to list all of these options. We want to create a file. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then in here, we got the site address. So we're going to go ahead and basically put in the site address, which is that office guy. The folder path, we can give that folder a click and we could basically look for the shared documents and I can click on the shared documents or any particular folder that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and go into here and I'm going to go a little bit deeper than YouTube. And I'm going to have video documents i'm going to click on video documents okay now you can see here it's shared documents for youtube slash video documents if i click here again add another forward slash this time i'm going to go over to this dynamic content and add our variable folder name at the end now that, that what that does that mean it means that essentially what we're doing is we are adding the um the folder name as the last variable. So we're going to create a folder with this. Now, if it can't find the folder, it's going to create it for us. If it can find the folder, it's just going to save the document in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and call this test. And I'm going to go down here to the file contents, which we grabbed earlier from our um, get file contents. This also might be an attachment contents that you have, whatever it is, there you go. Once you have that in there, you are done. At this point, you now are creating dynamic folders on the fly to essentially save your documents into okay from here we can click save and then we can run a test okay so let's go ahead and run that test now okay and just like that we have created a working flow right we can see that we've stepped through all of these processes and it has indeed uh, correctly done what it needs to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and see if we can actually find that dynamic content within my file explorer okay so for that to kind of work we are going to head on over into uh, um, file explorer and i'm going to bring this up into view for you guys over here so you can see that what we've done is we've navigated over to um, 4.youtube uh, video documents and then in here we have 07-01-2025 if i click into here we can see that we have my test document now i did make a mistake here that i did not add the extension to this so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add our extension to the end of this um, file so that we can actually actively uh, or accurately actually save that document in to do that we're just going to head on over here to edit from here we're going to go to create file and at the end of this name right here where it says test we can just go dot xl SX. Okay, so it's important that you know the file extension, but again, a lot of this information can be attained from either the actual attachment on an email or from the get file content through that kind of idea of actually navigating down and getting the um, metadata that sits inside that file. So you could find, you know, the actual name of the file, you could find the extension of the file uh, and all of that kind of stuff. And then of course you can use that within creating the file that you need. But ultimately all you need to do is make sure that you have your dynamic structure of the folder name, whether that is the date or something else, and just add it to the end of your folder path when you create a folder uh, or create a file in the the system and guys it is honestly as easy as that to essentially create dynamic folders in well using power automate if you found this useful and informative make sure to hit that like button if you are new to the channel subscribe and if you haven't done so you might want to check that video out right there it's one you probably don't want to miss